Okay, so we have our pages set up. Why don't we start working with the router where depending on the URL that our user is going to be on, that page is going to be served. And in our case, we're going to say import. And now, like I said, we're going to be looking for a few things from React Router DOM. And the first one is going to be browser, browser router, which as the name already suggests, we're going to be our main router. Then we're going to have a route. So each and every page or the component is going to have its route, as well as the switch statement, which does many things. But in our case, we're just going to use it to display the default page if the user doesn't type any kind of URL that doesn't make sense. And we're going to say from and we're going to be looking for react react router uh, react router and then we should be having a router dom we'll see how this is going to work this should be our proper one let me just double check whether the dependency was installed because for some reason i wasn't getting the suggestion so let's see package json yeah everything is working fine so we have react router dom and i don't need the package anymore this should be working correct and our next step is going to be creating the router component, which again, we could technically do it in the index JS. We could have done it here where we just wrap our app in the browser router. But since I wanted to keep at least for this project, everything in the same component where you can see as the router is working route and switch, that's the reason why I chose to do that. And for this, I'm going to say that there's going to be a router. That's obviously going to be my component. And then I'm going to copy and paste everything that I have right now already in the app. So I'm going to cut it out, copy and paste, and everything is going to be sitting within the router. And then also, I would like to place all my routes in the switch statement. And again, this is important where don't place your nav bar also within the switch, because the main idea is that the nav bar is going to be displayed on each and every page as we're going to be navigating through our application, but the pages are going to be changing. So that's the reason why we have the switch with all the routes and then the nav bar in our case, and maybe in your case, there's going to be more components that you would like to display on each and every page is going to be sitting above the switch. Also, I would like to create some main one because one of the things that's going to happen is that again, you cannot return the adjacent within the router, meaning if you're setting up here in the app JS, you need to make sure that you're still going to be returning as one component from this router. Obviously, if you're working within the index JS, that would be by default anyway. If I show you here in the index JS, the app is going to be the only child that you're going to have for the router. But for let's say within the app one, if I would be returning here, let's say nav bar, I cannot return nav bar and a switch as adjacent. So what we are going to do is we're going to place our nav bar right here. So for now, I'm just going to add the comment just so we can see that where the nav bar is going to be sitting. We obviously haven't created it, but that's the reason why I'm adding this main. We could have used obviously here also the react fragment. That is also an option, but just for this case, I just added the main. What else we have? Well, we have all our routes. So why don't we set up right now our route components? And for this, we actually will going to have to delete all the pages that we had. I know we did a lot of hard work, but that's the way this is going to go. And my first route is going to be my home route for the home route. You're going to be looking for the right with a forward slash. So the path with forward slash is going to mean that that is going to be your home route. And then we have another uh, prop, which is going to be component or attribute. And in this case, I'm saying what kind of route this is going to be displayed. And what's important is obviously you could place your recipes or single recipe. It's not like just because you had a forward slash, you need to go with your home route. However, it will going to make sense if you're creating a home page, then you would want to display it within the forward slash because that's obviously going to be your home route. So I'm going to say, OK, so as I'm hitting the home route, so by default, this should be displaying as a home page. And obviously this is happening. So everything is working really well. The moment I'm going to have the forward slash, then I'm just going to be displaying my home page. And now let's test it out with the other ones. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And by the way, I kind of went a little bit too far because I wanted to show you step, step by step. And let's say that as we're going to be looking for recipes, so my route with forward slash recipes, so basically your URL forward slash recipes. And in this case, I would like to display 
recipes component or the page, however you would like to call it. And now let's see whether this is going to work. So I have the home page. Now I'd like to go up in the URL and I'm going to type recipes recipes. Obviously, just as long as you're matching whatever you have here for the path, that should do it. And the moment we click on it, nothing happens. And we might start to wonder, well, is this guy knows what he's talking about? I mean, he did set up the path. Our home one is working. Everything looks kind of okay. But why I cannot get to the recipes? And the reason is very simple. You see, as you're working with the React router, what's going to happen is that even though you're looking for the home, which would be just a forward slash, as you're going to be looking for, let's say, about, so forward slash about, or in our case, forward slash recipes, you also need to make sure that you exclude the home one. Otherwise, this is just going to look, okay, I have the forward slash and the same forward slash you have for recipes. So fine, I'm just going to serve you the first one that's going to be available, which is going to be home. So what we have for that is going to be this exact, prompt that comes with the react router. Now, in this case, if you do forward slash recipes, it looks for the exact path. And in that case, it says, okay, no, this is not exact to whatever we have for the home. In fact, it looks for the next one. And next one is obviously going to be recipes, which is going to be rendered. Okay, so far, so good. We are moving quite swiftly. And also, why don't we copy and paste it? And let's copy and paste it two times. First time, I'm going to show you what happens with a default one. And by the way, we can comment this out for now. This is going to be the single one. But if we're looking for some kind of route and the path just doesn't exist, if we're just going to say component, if we are within the switch statement, we can just use this one, where if we don't hit any of the URL we were looking for, we're just going to serve them the default one, which in our case is going to be the error page. So that's how you can create the 401 where let's say I'm going to head over again to my URL and I'm going to say that there's going to be some kind of route that I'm looking for. Hello. Obviously, this does not exist. So I have hello from error page. And again, the way this works, we have our default page. And if we don't set up any kind of path, then eventually the React router is just going to find and say, okay, so the path doesn't match. So I'm going to serve up the default page or whatever page you would set up over here. Once we have set up the default page or the error page, I can obviously also show you where this would be in the official documentation where it says then match. And then the switch is going to render the first child route that matches. And the route with no path is always going to match. And again, if you need more information, you can head over again to the documentation and you're going to find the exact same information. For the single page, it's going to be a little bit different. Remember the single recipe that was still left here. And the reason for that is because we're going to be using the params. The way we can add the params is, as you can see, we have the path. And then we can add the colon here. And then the name for our param, which in this case would be, let's say, ID. And then we can access that within the child. So in our case, that would be a single recipe, where within the props, there's going to be match. And then we have match dot params, and then the name that you passed over here. So let's say in this case, if you set the ID, then obviously you're going to be able to find the ID. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So in our case, we have the recipes. And again, just to show you where this would be in our application, if I'm going to head over to our actual final project. Then you're going to be looking for, let's say, for this one. And I'm going to click on it. And this is going to be my recipe that I'm getting. That is my single page. And notice here on the top, this is going to be the ID. So let's see how this is going to work. First of all, let me uncomment this. Then we're going to say for the path, not only there's going to be recipes, there's also going to be for the single recipe DID. And the component we would like to render is going to be, again, single recipe. That was the name. However, again, in this case, we do need to use the exact one for the recipes. Otherwise, as you can see, if I'm using the path recipes forward slash and then DID, this always is going to come first. So that's not going to work. And let me save this and let's see how this is going to work. I'm not over there, actually in the uh, text header. And then let's say not, we're not going to be looking for hello. We're going to look for recipes. That's going to be my first one. And then within the recipes, let's say that there's going to be some kind of ID of 45. It doesn't matter what kind of number you're putting in right now anyway. 
as long as you're gonna put something after the recipes, notice you're gonna get a hello from single recipes page. And that would be our basic setup for the router. And once we have that, we can start working on our nav bar so the user can navigate our application not only when he or she types in the URL, but actually we have the links that are gonna be pointing to our components. 